Hey, what's up guys, Jake here. Today I'm at a place called Whitewater Express located in Columbus, Georgia. It's right by the river and this is like a rafting company. People can raft or they can kayak down the river. And a girl named Morgan reached out on Facebook and she told me that it, she lost her GoPro in the river. And she told me where she lost it, how she lost it, and what to look for if I came across it. She says, hey man, I rafted down the Chattahoochee with Whitewater Express today and my GoPro fell off my helmet. And uh, she says, I know it's a long shot, but they suggested me to reach out to you and that she'd appreciate anything. I'm sure there's footage on there she wants to keep and have for memories. And I think right now she probably thinks like it's gone forever. But you know what? I'm gonna try my very best to track down that missing GoPro. And I have a little bit of a strategy. She told me where she lost it and how she lost it. I'm gonna start where she lost it and I'm gonna kind of look how the water's moving. And I'm gonna see if I could trace where it could have gone. I'm super excited to get out there and start looking for Morgan's lost GoPro. But if you guys missed yesterday's video, I actually went out and tried to find a lost drone for a guy. And I got really lucky and found it. If I say when I read that message on Facebook, I was like, wow, like this would be a lot of fun to see if I could find another thing in a river. So I hunted down the drone and today I'm gonna try to hunt down Morgan's lost GoPro. This is the gear I'll be using to look for that missing GoPro. I have three super small scuba tanks. Each tank's gonna allow me to breathe underneath the water for about 15 to 20 minutes max. So they're not gonna last a long time. And I also brought my trash bag as well. If I come across any plastic cans or beer bottles or any other stuff, I'll throw it in this bag and we'll throw it away after each dive. Now, before we get out there and start searching for Morgan's camera, I'm gonna let you guys know that today's video is actually sponsored by SeatGeek. If you guys have never heard of SeatGeek, it's an an app that provides all the tickets you can imagine in one place. So if you guys are interested in buying tickets online, this is definitely the app that I would recommend. It's super easy and simple to use. It even has a score ranging from 1 to 100 ranking each ticket. And it just shows you guys whether or not you're going to get a good deal for that ticket or a bad one. It also has like a section where it shows like if you buy this ticket, this is where you're going to be seating. So you can kind of choose around the arena where you want to be seated. I'm going to have a link in the description below where you guys can download SeatGeek. Once you guys are in, you can actually click on the me tab and you can enter my promo code DLMighty and it's going to give you guys $20 off your first purchase. But all right guys, with that said, thank you guys so much from SeatGeek for sponsoring in today's video. I'm gonna get out there and see if I can find some cool stuff. Yeah. 
Alright guys, so my first air tank just died on me, but I'm gonna put on a new tank and then I'm gonna dive back down there and see if I can find some cool stuff. Like I said, the first scuba tank ran out of air on me. I'm gonna turn this off right here and then uh, I'm gonna take it off and put a new tank on. And that's gonna give me about 10, 15 more minutes of dive time. And then once that air tank dies, we actually have a third one. I'm gonna put that on as well, and then we'll dive back out there and find some more cool stuff. So with the first air tank, I actually searched upriver. I searched by the rapids. But with my second air tank, we're gonna be diving down here. It's kinda like a spot where all the stuff can settle at. In the past, I think I found maybe like two or three GoPros here. I found a couple iPhones at this location. I even found my first gun at this spot. So hopefully we could dive down and maybe find something cool like another iPhone. I have high hopes at this spot. Let's go dive down there and see if we can find some more cool stuff. I can't believe it. It still works too. I hit the button and the Wi-Fi turned on. That is crazy, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just talked about this spot being a pretty good spot for a GoPro. And this is actually, I think, the third GoPro I found here. That is wild, dude. That is so awesome. What I'm gonna have to do is actually plug the SD card into my computer and I'll see what kind of files, like pictures and videos are on this camera. And then I'm gonna try to figure out who this belongs to so we can give it back to the original owner. But it's always just kind of cool to see what the camera recorded after it fell off the person's head. But that's awesome, dude. I can't believe it. We got so lucky today. We found some incredible stuff today, but along with all the treasure, I try to pick up as much trash as possible. And to be honest with you guys, I think that's what it's all about. Have fun, pick up trash, find cool stuff, and give back things that, that I can to the original owners. We got about a half bag full of trash, which is pretty good for today's diving. I mean, we only spent, what, like 30 minutes in the water, but we did pretty good today, dude. Let me go ahead and uh, dump this in this trash can right here. I just got done scuba diving. I'm in my truck right now. I have the GoPro, and I'm about to call Morgan to tell her that I found her lost GoPro in the river. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I just want to let you know that uh, I found your GoPro in the river. Oh, cool! Do you live locally? I can hand deliver it to you or I can just mail it to you. Whatever works best is gonna be fine for me. Um, we live in Decatur, so Decatur. we're a little bit of a drive. How far away is Decatur? You know what It's I mean? like, I think it was like an hour and a half drive for us to get over there. Well, uh, you're about an hour and a half away from me, so I can just mm -hmm. mail it to you. Alright, so we're back home. We have the GoPro that I found in the river and I plugged it into the computer just to double check that it was Morgan's and it definitely is. But I asked for her permission to share this video with you guys, and this is the moment she actually loses her camera in the river. I thought it'd be pretty cool to see how she lost the camera, and I thought you guys might like it as well. We're gonna go ahead and press play and react to this for the first time here. So she's at the uh, the whitewater spot where I always surf, and I've seen so many people lose stuff right here. <laughs> here she goes, man. Oh. <laughs> I think she got nailed in the face by the girl in front of her, like her paddle hit her in the face. 
But yeah, her GoPro just sinks to the bottom of the river to be found about a month later. <laughs>